smart girl, Bianca. You should know by now that you can't run away from me. Don't make me keep saying it. Wherever you go, I will follow. I'll even get there first. You will never escape me. I will always, always find you. You too, okay? Yeah, well, excuse me for caring, Bianca. So this is your sister? Yeah, you wouldn't know about the way she's acting. Okay, all right. Stop freaking out, okay? You can leave me alone. I'm fine. Yeah, we'll tell that to Erica. She's threatening to cancel her wedding because of you, Bianca. What? No, why? She thought you were lying dead in some ditch. I'm telling you, if you do not want Mom to, to cancel her wedding to Jack, you have to talk to her right now. Find her right now and tell her why you ran off. I will. Just tell Mom I'll call her, okay? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. And give you a chance to run off? I don't think so. No, Bianca, listen to me. Erica needs to see you. She needs to see you now. She's terrified. Okay. Um. Fine. <sighs> Bianca! Oh! oh. Thank God you're all right! You're all right! Been. Where did you find her? I found her at the boathouse in the park. Oh, thank God you're all right. You're, you are, aren't you? Yes, I'm uh, fine. Honey, your mama has been pacing trenches in the rugs over you. Well, when I heard that you had, had packed your bags and left Myrtle's and I, you didn't I'm say goodbye sorry. or anything. No, you know, I didn't... I'm sorry that everybody got so freaked out. There was nothing to worry about. I'm fine. Really. Oh, all right. Then, then, then why did you leave? Gosh almighty, look at the time. Uh, I was supposed to be back with, uh, to relieve Petey's babysitter an hour ago. She's scared to death of him. Yeah. Get Thanks one. so much for keeping me company. Oh, honey, any time. Okay, will you call Jack? Will you tell him that Bianca's back? She's safe. Will do. Okay, Thanks. Will do. Y'all take care now, you hear? I can't seem to find my um, new faxes from Olaf. The ones for for your dress? Yes, exactly. Would you mind uh, looking on my desk in the library? Because I'm going to need them tomorrow. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll find them. Thank you. Kendall said that you were going to cancel the wedding if I didn't come back. The wedding can wait. No, Mom. Come on. Bianca, tell me everything from the beginning. Why did you pack up your bags and, and, and leave? Uh, you know, I was only going to be gone for like a day or maybe two. Myrtle says you're not eating. So I'm going to ask you again. No, truth, I'm begging you. Please, honey. Tell me. Tell me what's wrong. Oh, yeah. oh, honey, I don't care about that at all. It's it's just your your health that I'm I'm concerned about. Uh, you, you know what? Maybe you'll feel better after some tea. Uh, orange or mint? Oh, um, you know what? Either one. Be great. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We meet again. 
Well, what's wrong? You don't look so happy to see me. Stop this. In fact, you look like you've seen a ghost. Are you all right? You are not real. I'm gonna get rid of you. Well, well after all we've shared, that's not very I'm kind. Leaving. I am sick of this. You can't control me. You can't control my thoughts. Sweetheart, you're not making any sense. What? No, no, no. You can't take one more step. Why, why are you being so distant? You're not real. You don't exist. You are not here. Well, of course I'm here. Why would you say I'm not a... Here. you so much. I've thought about you so much. No. Go away. Go away. Well, don't say that. I, I can't stand to be away from you. It's been torture to be away from you. I can't stand it. Oh, we're left for a lemon for the tea, but I, I brought some... Oh, my God. Michael, what are you doing here? Bianca, you didn't let him in, did you? The door is open, Erica. As a matter of fact, you should do something I'm about that. Her. I wouldn't do that. Stay Just away from her. Down. It's all right, sweetheart. You wouldn't dream of hurting me again. You get out. Get out. Right now! You, you're overreacting. Yeah, Look, I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. Get out of here, you haven't seen overreacting. Mama does not kill you, Michael. I swear to God, I will. And my intentions? I'm hardly the uh, monster that you all make me out to be here. Bianca, you're gonna give me the benefit Get of the doubt, aren't you? Right you're not now. gonna cry wolf, are you? Won't you come near her? Don't you take one more step near her? You even think of doing to her what you did to Kendall and me? I swear to God, you will be dead before you hit the ground. Bianca, you're gonna come to my defense here, aren't Get you? Out. Lena told me that you don't lie, you spread are. nasty Get rumors out. around. Spreading the R word. Stop. Devil told me I'll snap your neck like a twig and got himself a couple of justice, you understand me? Jack, stop it. He's not worth it. You know, just because your case against me is never gonna go to trial, there's no reason for you to go all vigilante, counselor. Just get rid of him, Jack, please. You show your face around here again. I might just figure I'm supposed to pull the law. Well, it's uh, been. I'm doubling security. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Kendall. I'm I'm fine. <sighs> Baby, listen to me. You cannot let that hard man upset you. I mean, he is very hateful, but thank God, nothing, nothing really happened yet. No harm has been done. Look, I am going to make sure that that man does not terrorize this family. I'm going to put Cambius away for the rest of his life, I promise you. Do you hear your Uncle Jack? Cambius is going to be gone. And then Kendall and Nina and I will be safe, so you don't have to waste one more second worrying about us, honey. But that doesn't mean we can't worry about you. Hey. Sweetheart, are you sure? Dad Hayward told me he found you on the rooftop of the clinic, and he was afraid that maybe you're suffering from depression. And do, do you know how frantic we were when, when you left Myrtle's with that suitcase? Where, where were you going? Honey, I mean, please tell us what's wrong. Uncle Jack and I will be there for you. We'll do everything we can to help you to make it better. Only please tell us, honey. We'll postpone the wedding even, right? Oh, absolutely. What? We'll do anything. No. Family always comes no, first. No, 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 so you know no. That. It's okay. It's okay. I, I will tell you the truth. Tell you everything. You're so sweet to be worried about me. I, I love you for it. Well, honey, we love you. I know, and I guess I haven't been acting like myself lately. Call it depression, call it, you know, whatever. But whatever David Hayward said, I was not about to take a flying leap off of any building. But you're not eating. Yeah. Not three square meals a day. <laughs> like any person, normal person who's sad and upset, I, I lost my appetite. It's not a relapse. The reason that I'm not eating and that 
I'm not sleeping and then I burst into tears every two minutes is that it's over between me and Lena. Honey, I'm sorry. No, and Mom, you know what? It's okay. It's not your fault. It's nobody's fault except my own. Sweetheart, how, how is it your fault? Because I was just kidding myself, thinking that I could see past everything that's happened. I can't. It's too late. And, and I'll never be able to look at Lena again and not see all of the horrible things that have happened. They'll always be there between us, keeping us apart. And I just, I, I can't, I can't just forgive and forget. Maybe with time. No, 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 there's not enough time in the world. I, um, I can't ever go back to the way it was before. But Bianca, if you still love her, no, then why? No, no, I, you know what, nothing, Everything is ruined now, and nothing can fix it. Honey, I know how it feels. Nothing's more painful than oh, a, a broken it's heart okay. and betrayal. I'm getting over it. I am. And the wedding is helping. It is. Yeah. Right now, I need to know that that, that life goes on, and, and dreams are possible, and, 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 and happiness is attainable, and, and the only way that I'm gonna do that is if you guys go on with your wedding and let me be a part of it. Sweetheart, are you, are you sure that's what you want? Yes, Uncle Jack, this is it's the one good thing that I have to look forward to. Please don't take it away from me. Oh, honey, if you're sure. Of course, I'm sure. If you want me to smile again, then I gotta see you at that altar next to Uncle Jack. And I wanna see you promise that you're gonna love him forever. And I'm gonna love you forever, honey. We all will. Well, here we are again. Gonna speak? Stay away from me. Oh, honey, you don't need to be that way. It's just you and me now. The way you like it. Your mom and your sister aren't here to spoil our fun. Mm, I've been thinking about you ever since that night. I cannot get you out of my mind. I've wanted to tell the whole world, but who else can understand what we really shared that night? You know, I was um, wondering if you were going to run to mommy and tell her about our little, uh, you know, tryst. to go now, but when you sleep tonight, dream about me. Till next time. Yes? Miss Kane, there's a woman on her way up. What? Who? Um, she's not on the list. A Lena Kandera. Uh, all right, just, I'll, I'll handle her. All right, Lena, what are you doing here? I'd like to see Bianca. Not possible. Why not? You might as well tell me she's here. Wrong. Look, um, I'm not leaving. I want to see Bianca, and I know she wants to see me. No, wrong again. Bianca never wants to see you again. She told me so herself. Bianca. You came up here without permission. You are trespassing. What are you gonna do? Have me arrested? Fine. In the meantime, I'll go from room to room looking for her. You have no business here. You do not belong here. Now, whatever relationship you think you have with Bianca, she does not want to have anything to do with you. You're lying. You know, maybe you want to just hit the road. We're getting ready for a wedding here. It's an... That really of no concern to me. 
Yeah, well, I guess good manners aren't either. Now, do you want to retrace your steps, or am I going to have to do it for you? Look, I'm sorry. I know how I must sound, but to be honest with you, I'm worried sick. The last time I saw Bianca, we, we were making plans. We were happy, and then next thing I know, she's running away from Myrtle's, and I can't get any answers. And you haven't talked to her since then? No, she won't return my phone calls. Uh, I don't know why. If what Erica says is true, uh, I think I should hear it from Bianca. Oh, well... Would you please leave us alone for a moment? Uh, you could go into the kitchen, you could uh, put the TV on. Oh, um, yeah. Well, you're very good. I could see you almost had Opal convinced that you were telling the truth. I was telling her the truth. You're not going away, are you? Not until I speak to Bianca. Listen to me, the only thing I care about in the world is Bianca's happiness. So I guess that I'm going to have to guarantee yours, too. What's that mean? If you stop seeing Bianca for good, I will pay you three million dollars. <sighs> three million dollars? All right, not high enough. Okay, I can go a little higher, but I'm warning you. Don't get greedy. <gasps> For you, paying off Bianca's girlfriends, has it ever actually bought her an ounce of happiness? You are not her girlfriend. You have never been her girlfriend. You are a con artist. You jumped from Michael Cambius' bed to Bianca to seduce her, lie to her, to betray her. So, please, don't act like you are insulted over three million dollars because you've been traded for considerably less. I know she's here. What if I call out her name? Okay, I'm withdrawing my offer and you will leave under your own power. Now. Fine. Eric. Security. Yes, I want you up here now. I need you, please. I need you to escort someone from the premises. Yes, ma'am. Erica, please. Uh, look, I, I know you're just as scared about Bianca as I am. You don't know what happened to her, and you're blaming me, and I'm blaming you, but really we should find out why she ran away. Yes, I am blaming you. I lived through Bianca's illness with her. She wouldn't eat. She almost died. And now those feelings, those exact feelings, are coming back because of you. No, that's not making any sense. Of course it makes sense. Here's the good sense in that. You got her to fall in love with you, and then you lied to her, you betrayed her, you cheated her, and you stole from her. Erica, she forgave me, I swear to you. You have made my daughter sick again, and you will not get out of her life? Erica, I love Bianca. I would never hurt her. Please, get out of here. Get her out of here now. Bianca! Bianca! Get her out! She's never come home. back here again. She is not a friend. She is not a family member. None oh, of those. Oh, my God! Uh, Lena! Bianca. Let go of her! Let go of her now! Let go of her now! Bianca. Mom, tell them to let her go. All right, all right, yes. All right, tell them to leave, please. All right, you can go. Bianca, I did not want to upset you, honey. I know, I know you didn't. Your mother seems to have the wrong impression. I told her we postponed our trip to Prague because of the wedding, but she seems to think we've broken up. I told her she was wrong. Bianca. Mom, can we have some privacy, please? Honey. Yeah, come on. Uh, we got to get that manicure finished before the wedding rehearsal anyway. Let's go. Oh. You're just... Sit down. No, I look, I can't sit down. Your mother just said that you don't want to be with me, that, that that's what you told her, that I'm not your girlfriend. Oh, come on, tell me it's not true. I can't do that. I can't see you anymore. Why? Because that's what I want. No, it's not. No, I don't believe that. 
I felt bad before uh, about blaming your mother, but I was right, wasn't I? She got her way. No, this has nothing to do with my I mother. Don't believe that, Bianca. <laughs> She's been working on this for months. I, I didn't think you were listening to her, but what changed? <laughs> Come on, are you going to break up with me just to be a good daughter? Or has Erica finally persuaded you that I'm a common criminal? No, and she... Queen, I don't think that of you. I think that you're... I don't think badly of you, okay? I, I... I just don't want a relationship right now, not with anyone. Well, why not? What, what happened? What did I do? Nothing. You didn't do anything wrong, okay? It just, it didn't work out. Lena, you don't need me to be happy. Oh, you can find stop it. Else. Don't tell me who I need to be happy. I need you, okay? We settled that. Bianca, why are you lying to me? I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm Look, not. something happened. Something really big and you're just not telling me. No, okay? God, please don't make this so hard on me. It can only be your mother. I mean, she, she's the one who's been working on you, who's been trying to make you feel guilty. It's not my mother. It's not. She's the only one you've been speaking to. She's the only one that has that kind of power over you. You're wrong, Lena. You're very wrong. Look. You love me. You can tell me to go away a million times, but I don't believe it that you don't love me. What is it, Bianca? I mean, if it's not your mother, is, is it me? Is it something I did? Just tell me. I, I won't do it again. Is it someone else? Let me know. We can fix that. Just... God, tell me what it is. Bianca, don't make me leave. We, we can get through anything together. Anything. seeing you again. It's nothing that you did, Lena. And it's not my mother. Please don't make me say... It's me. I'm just not good enough oh, for you. Please, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, I know, but you want me to say something, and I have nothing that I can say. You just have to accept that it's over. I don't accept it. I'll never accept it. So you really want to do this, you'd, you'd rather send me away than let me know what happened. Yeah, that's right. I want you to go away. Okay. It won't be any good. I'll find out why you're doing this. Whatever it is, I'll know. No, just... Look, you're gonna be much better off if you just move on, find somebody else. Oh, stop it, Bianca. I don't want anybody else. I love you. I've never loved anyone. When you loved me back, I couldn't believe my luck, so... I can't just let you go. If you think I can, then you're just beginning to know me. Goodbye. One of ours, isn't it? It's one of yours. Yeah, it's making us best. a mint of money. <laughs> Absolutely. You okay, honey? Oh my goodness, the sandwiches. We finished them. Do we still have time? Do you want to have lunch? Well, of course. Yeah, I want to be good and strong for your big day tomorrow. I want it to be the most perfect day for you, Mom. Oh. <laughs> what kind did you have to define?
fine, but uh, I'm really okay, and I have tons to do to get ready for this wedding tomorrow. Mm. So, what's with the guard dog? What, Tim? Yeah. He's protecting my mom. From autograph seekers, wedding crashers? In case Michael Cambius comes by to harass her. Well, too bad you didn't have your own guard. It would have saved everybody a lot of trouble when you disappeared. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine. So why did that happen, Bianca? Why did you run off? Well, I didn't. <laughs> Not like a little kid running away from home or something. I just... Haven't you ever needed some private time, David? Yes, of course I have. Now and then. Exactly. And I would have called Mom, but, uh... She freaked out before I even got a chance to get out of town. Like I freaked out when I found you on the roof. Look, I'm sorry that I scared you, David, really, but it's, it's not even worth talking about. You know, um, I suggested that we throw rose petals, but Mom and Uncle Jack thought it would be really nice to throw bird seed. The rice is bad for the birds. Because the birds eat it, blow up and die? Uh-huh. You know, that's a lie. Well, a myth, anyway. Go ahead, soak some rice in warm water, see what happens. Might not be the greatest thing for the birds, but they certainly don't die. Well, then why switch? Lawsuits. Bird seed, um, or rice, I'm sorry, on sidewalks and church steps can be really slippery. But isn't it funny how we choose to believe the bird story? Are you sure that's true? As sure as I am that you're not telling me everything, Bianca. And I'm not going to settle for stories and myths. I'd like you to tell me the truth. What the hell? You promise? Whatever you say stays with me. Well, Mom is afraid that I'm not going to get over my latest breakup. Your latest breakup? Wait a minute. Oh, um... Yeah, I know that I said that everything was just great with Lena, but you know, I didn't want to talk about it. Lena and I, we just didn't work out. And uh, it was painful and disappointing. Hmm. So that caused you to wind up on the edge of the roof. David, I went out for some air and you startled me. You, you know, I nearly fell. <sighs> that ribbon's frayed. Oh, thanks. When you saw me at Myrtle's, I was a mess. And now you're in charge of wedding arrangements. I'm not in charge, but I'm happy to be helping out. So you were just trying to get some distance from everybody? Well, yeah. I mean, I at least needed to get away from Myrtle's. I love her, David, but come on. Living in a boarding house, everyone's always up in your business. You know, they mean well, but it's about a thousand times worse than living in a small town. And I gotta tell you that that was wearing kind of thin, too. Well, it is tough, no matter where you live, with breakups. Yeah, you know what? I should be getting used to it by now. So, did, um, Lena, did she call it quits, or...? No, I did. I loved Lena, but, um... You know, once you figure out that it's just not going to work in the long haul, it's better to put everything behind you, you know? Just, like, move on with life. If you can. Yeah. But when I saw you on the roof the other day, it didn't seem uh, like... Look, David, you caught me on an off day. I was giving in to the drama of it all. Well, you got a lot done. Yeah, in spite of me. Um, look, I gotta get going. I'm happy to hear that you're doing well. Mm, thank you. If you need anything, you call me, all right? That's very, very sweet, David, and I will. Thank you. Hey. Hey, it's me. Um, listen, can you get away for a few minutes? It's about Bianca. I'd like to talk to you. Yeah, look, um, 
How about we meet at the Valley Inn lobby in 15 minutes? Is that all right? Great.